there. Hello guys, uh, good morning. Uh, you are welcome once again to my channel. You are welcome to Cartridge uh, Solution. Uh, please. My name once again is Stephen Ujutola Isabio Dudi TM, your anchor on this uh, great channel. Today is the 4th of September 2023, right? Yeah. And today, early, very early today, we are taking some uh, uh, seashell to Ikire. The case is in Oshun State, so that is where this is going uh, today. Mm. I'm making this video where I've sent a lot that I've not made the video, but I'm making video because some I understand some of our clients do not. Can I, I cannot access some of the video we have on YouTube or we have on uh, uh, Facebook to see uh, the way it works and the way people use it so that is why i'm just making a little demo because i'm sending this uh, today so i'm using as an example for them to see for those of them that see that has a lot of questions about it so what really happened is that uh and i will still maybe i will send it to the i will still appreciate a client that coming from uh, in a way, uh, about uh, the usage please i the usage is simple the usage is seashell we made seashell we concur it in order to collect your uh, potential hydrogen that means your ph and these are what we call the soft materials in order to soften the uh, hardiness that means the acidity of your uh, hydrogen cycle <laughs> these are what it's meant for there's an example there's an experiment i did on how to reverse uh, the potential hydrogen on my video i think i will have to tag it up here for those of you who have not watched that but this is uh, mainly meant for those people that have when that means when we have a little bit of uh, uh, sodium chloride represented in your water so once that is a uh, the representation of sodium chloride is lower in your water the your the water cubic acid is automatically high and once it's high, many people, when you go do your testing, we know through as uh, when your water is completely acidic. So, but when your water is acidic, we have a solution in doing that. A lot of farms have run down because of this problem. Because <laughs> of the, uh, what do I call, I, I can call it because of the novice of most of the, uh, most of uh, uh, farms. <laughs> Cobic acid do develop in a certain area that it gets to a stage. If you are not careful, if your fridge is weak, maybe you there's a time you congest your water, or you you stress your fishes, or you give any of your fishes stress. I bet you, if your water is highly acidic, this will automatically affect them. This will make them hang and the stress will be more for them and they will start dying. There's nothing you can do about that. But the most of the fishes that can skate through that uh, lineage, that I mean those ranges are fishes from juvenile size and that are LD. Even I can bet you that if your fishes are grow out, if your fishes are above 500 grams, and going up to one one kilo, even to two kilo, and the fish are automatically stressed. And your water parameters, the potential hydrogen of your water says your water cubic acid is high. I bet you this will automatically affect them. So there's no way, no two ways about that. But we are talking about the fryers now because I'm I'm so concerned about the fryers. Why I'm concerned about the fryers is that fryers are very very uh, fragile. Fragile to the extent that they don't want any inch of the stuff on them and for those of you maybe you have skated through the archery process archery process means most of the technical parts of your archery process and what are the technical parts of your archery process the first technical part of your archery process is what we call the latency period maybe fine you scrape through the latency period very well now you move to the incubating period you scrape through to the incubating period successfully now let us go into now your fish is out and once your fish is out some people their fishes will go down will not will be gumming on the floor there will not there's only few of the fishes that will come up 
those ones coming on the floor we started dying on the floor they started changing to white by the time so those most some of those that, that experience all those things they are some causes of when your water is highly acidic and what are the things that causes this sometimes if you use small small fishes that the eggs are not really matured enough note there's what there's something we call maturity in age and maturity in egg so that's why I said sometimes there's a there's there's a lecture I'm doing on YouTube. That means a free lecture I'm doing on YouTube on hatchery and on uh, feed formulation. And I promise you guys that if I'm going into hatchery, I'm going to talk in depth to about that because this is a free lecture. I'm not going to rush it. And for those of you who really want to understand the process of raising fish and getting it right in fish farming, I'm going to take you through to A to Z of it. I said once again, there's a difference between maturity in age of the fishes and the difference between maturity in age of the head. So what is the difference? The difference is that some people will have fishes that they are mm -hmm. even above 18 months. They are above 16 months. And the prior time for a matured broodstock for me is I give them 12 months. And you take them from 12 months. The basic, you take them from 14 months. So maybe you are above that age and maybe after that age, your fishes have released the egg because they do release when you get to a certain period, they release themselves. Why do they release themselves? Sometimes if you match them with the male counterpart in the, in the, uh, in the pond or even them alone, because there's a signal, there's, 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 there's a, a seducive signal on them when they are with their male counterpart sometimes, when this, their belly is fully ready to release. I tell you, some of them will release their head. Most of them do release their head. So once they release their head, in order for that time for them to recruit back, in order to get more eggs to matured, you know, when they release the new head, the first egg they will get will not be matured. So this gets to three stage, steady stage stages. The head will turn white, depend on the coloration of their head. Maybe the coloration of their head is dark uh, green, or is a golden color or is brownish which is most referred for a matured egg the first thing you see is you will see that some of the most of the eggs will turn white that means they are still coming up the second stage is that most of them will turn green and most of them some of them will turn white that means that is the second stage the third stage is fully matured but when your fishes are at this first stage to second stage and going to third stage and not really fully matured you can experience some of these uh, hacks when you do your production so that is what the cause is and sometimes there's a time in fishing that we call the teething period this teething period are uh, period when fishes need <laughs> stress when they are growing most of their body so this time they normally have stress I think I will still take a time to talk about the teething period for fishes and ways for farmers to uh, to curb the teething exercise on them. So teething period makes them very weak. It's like when you have a little baby at home, you get to a stage that the baby start growing teeth, the baby start growing uh, all this stuff. So when they start growing it, they become cold every few weeks, every time. This as well. As for fishes too. If you're in that period, the, the period started from six days. When in that period and uh, you are not careful, immediately you need to watch out for the cold. If the cold is too much, they will start dying. You need to watch out for congestion. If they are congested, that means when they are congested, you know that automatically they are, the dissolved oxygen will go low. The ammonia will set it and little ammonia will start killing them so all these stages are the stages you need to be very very careful in fish so let me go back to what we are talking about what we are talking about is that how do we correct what we call our potential the ph of our water which really means the potential hydrogen of our water correcting this there are, i told you there are a lot of parameters we use and i told you i now give you a brief example of what we call the potential hydrogen i said Potential hydrogen don't come fully when your water, uh, what's it called, sodium, uh, sodium chloride is low and the cobic acid of your water buffers. So when that time, your water becomes acidic. And when your water becomes acidic, the acidic, the best stuff you use, you need a softer material in order to take it low. But when your water 
is alkaline you need what you call an ash material which will know acidic material in order to calm it down so these are some of what we do this is we call this the seashell mm -hmm. and uh, the seashell is fully represented by the oyster prewinkles and other shells that we thought we research for and we notice that this may work faster on your water that will replicantly give your fishes the desired environment that they ought to be so we concord this and we it takes time it takes a lot of researches in order to get this and why do we why is it like this we made it like this to be crushed it takes time to crush this for us because one we want to exercise faster uh, activity on there we want this this thing to change their water very fast for those of people that are using just only hostile in order to collect their water by the time you notice that when you put the hostile into a tank the hostile has to take a little period of time in order for it to maybe when the water is coming from the borehole it takes some time so that the water the water can the oyster can fully get dissolved with the water and correct the water but with this you don't need to wait so long because this will correct your water very very fast so with this i'm going to give you a typical example of how it works for those of you who do not really understand so what i'm doing now is that i'm going to use this uh, kit in order to test for what you call your potential hydrogen of your water and note in this kit we have the uh, we have what we call the the digital tester and we have the liquid tester and this is the liquid tester for those of you who are into fish farming or into aquaculture and you refuse to get your this is dangerous and it's not acceptable in getting results in any manner so i bet you you make sure that you get a sample for yourself these are not really expensive to me if they are even selling it for you fifty thousand naira, you better go and get it because if if you refuse to get it automatically you are going to lose more than that so in here the example we want to do is that the first thing is to test the water we want to work on so i'll be dropping here and you can see that the water is acidic so once the water is acidic the next thing to do is for you to do what to add some of these uh, 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 substance these are seashells so we are adding some of the seashell concourse seashell into the water that we just tested now so once we are once i added it and uh, uh, this is it into the water but some things you do is that one is the smudge in your water sometimes when your water is a uh, when you when you put your water we have what what we call when you use what you call the filtrating system so you let the water go into this so this will be well filtrated or you put it into your storage tank once you put it into your ashtray tank this automatically because of the what you are using commonly the acacium based uh, product and calcium based product do help you in buffer the hardiness of your water sometimes when your the hardiness of your water is low and we know we have a ranges of 50 to 150 ppm right for your hardiness and if your water is around 50 uh, if if your around is around uh, maybe 20 is around 10 this will buffer it up for you if you're having that uh, experience and most water hardiness do go low because of the acidic nature of the water they do go low so now let us do the testing so by the time i drop i make a drop inside so making a drop inside you can see automatically this takes it to seven this is to neutral on like what we said so what i'm trying to achieve now is that for you to uh, for you to allow your fishes to die off or for you to feel ignorance about uh, having a substance for yourself in order to correct your water it to me is pay off and is better off to have a substance like this so that once you have it <coughs> maybe into your storage tank this will help you in solving this problem and i told you this is not like for those for those people that use the soda hatch this is not like soda hatch soda hatch cannot correct some of the parameters this can help you to correct soda hatch may not correct the uh, hardiness of your water may not rectify your night the nitrate of your water which which is need most 
may not rectify the calcium of your water in order to make your fishes have a jolly body that means reduce more energy for them so these are when you'll be having problem if you don't have a substance like this so you can see this uh, uh, very fast it has taken it to seven if you are using just a mere seashell this will not take it to seven as fast as this so that is why we try to make a research and we quickly try to blend it up so that this can work faster <laughs> so these are the results of what we call when you use the concord uh, uh, seashell in order to uh, rectify the problem of your water so that is done that is just the example of what you have and uh, and i told you if you need a water treatment uh, uh, materials to do we can fix your water treatment plant for you for those of you who have higher turbidity and uh, for those of you who really want to be treating your water based on your water treatment we can do it for you and we'll be serving it for you these are bow filter for your water these are the bow filter for your water and we will use this for your sedimentary tank this is used inside your sedimentor. Those of you who want to us to consult what you call a sedimentary tanks for him too as well. That means she looks for them in order to filtrate and to treat their water. We use this based on that and we bring that to correct your water too as well. So as I told you once again that this uh, uh, material is going to kill uh, Ikele is in Russian state and uh, the client has been buying for us and they have been using it successfully in their farm based on uh, when they want to do their hash rate. based on when they want to do their hash rate. so this will be going today and uh, for those of you who are in that agri if you are staying in that agri please make sure that you uh, communally contact us for your for your food and this will be delivered to you and this will be delivered to you anywhere you have so so I just showed you the how it works and uh, so I know many people that so this you can put this into your I told you you can put this into your ashley tank this can work into your ashley tank and uh, that means directly into your ashley tank you can add it into your ashley tank and this will work perfectly well to work perfectly hundred percent well for you and uh, this uh, uh, and note for those of you that are using chemical based products what i mean by chemical based products is a product that uh, product like soda hash uh, calcium chloride and co and co if you are using that that does not what really happens is that the difference between that and this is that calcium chloride you will be put it in, in your water gradually and you'll be testing and but this how this really the advantage of this is that when it's inside your water once you put it inside your water you then need to disturb yourself this will be correcting your water and self gradually so conveniently you can flush another new water into it from your borehole or like when you are using the soda hash that you may not want to uh, put the water directly for them so you have to wait for a little time for the soda hash to work before you you use them so this does not work like that this will make sure that it corrects your water yourself so this is it and this is what is going to be created today so for those of you who have been following us on this channel for those of you who are subscribed to this channel for those of you that are following on our facebook i will say a very big thank you to you and god bless you oh thank you so much